students are dropping up a lot of posters and I'm not complaining. Instead, I decided to add one of mine in the queue. Actually, at this point, you had already seen the final poster on my Instagram. So moving forward to the process, let's see the stuff we're going to be using to create the poster of Wonder Mini. These are the images that are going to be part of making the awesome results. Starting with placing a foreground stone hills. Here I don't want this part so I will mask it out quickly. Then I found this PNG of same stones. Using it to expand the ground area a bit and the sky stop for the rest of the scene. By using this shade of gradients to make a particular color theme that I am looking for. It helped instantly to blend different images which we had used till now. This was the image of Kang I am going to use. I marked him out carefully and dropped him into our scene. Now to show Kang standing out from the rest of the image, I have to add some heavy lights coming from a distance. Then I took this PNG of Ant-Man, flipped it horizontally and placed him to show he is about to grab Kang, rotating his hand a little bit towards Kang. Soon I realized Kang was left behind without blending. I made a selection of his cutout on a new layer filling it with the same shade of darkest color to show a shadow of Kang below him creating highlights over his body. To show depth, I am just painting a haze in front of Kang and the mountains we are seeing. Who was thinking why Ant-Man is too big? Let me tell you there is a version of him called Giant-Man created by the makers in the comics. I think that makes sense now, right? I started to paint shadows over him to show he is moving forward from the light source. Then I painted yellowish lights on his costume. I decided to cut his leg to show he is being sucked into quantum realm while protecting the people he loves. Masking out more characters from the trailer to complete the poster. The pin tool is always convenient and easy for me to cut the characters from the rest of the image. Placed hang behind the giant man and color balance him well. It was not making any sense to show a gun without fire. I painted the laser coming out of the gun he is holding. Then the light cast over him from the plaster. Then I added Janet behind Hank and the same adjustment go to her as well. I used the rings created by Kang as a portal and then comes beautiful Cassie. I collected all these characters stuff from Twitter. If you want to use them, they are there. Also, the soldiers of Kang's army were cut out from the original poster. Place them as they are guarding Kang with their weapons, not Ant-Man. To give a realistic touch, I created a shadow of the ring on the ground. Added some sheep and plane attacking to the giant man, blending them together. We are almost done here. All it is remaining is just to add the text and camera raw filter. I will work on it for a while. The results are already on my Instagram handle, link is in the description and so that's gonna do it, keep learning and keep creating.